How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going diving with my friend Jordan and we're gonna send out the dinghy out from our friend jo our, our friend Noah's house. And we're gonna hit some shallow reef zones, try and shoot some uhus and goats and moos if we get lucky. But um, yeah, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a challenge for myself. I'm gonna be shooting only one band on this gun. I'm gonna, you know, restrict myself to only shooting with one band. So a little bit less power, I gotta, you know, get a little bit closer to the fish if I wanna take a good shot. So just a little fun challenge to, to make it a little bit harder. And um, we'll see how we'll see how that goes. We'll see how how I do. I don't know how this is gonna go, but um, hopefully we can get we can still manage to get some nice fish. And all of our fish is going to Jordan today because oh shucks, I can't remember what he needs it for, but it's like some kind of party or something. He needs a bunch of steamers, so we're gonna help, hopefully help him get that done with one band. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll see you guys in the water. Shoots. Alright guys, so first drop here, going down in some deeper water, this is about 60-ish feet. And I was just taking a blind drop and I had both bands loaded just in case I was going to see some big ukus or something. I didn't want to miss the fish of a lifetime just because I had only one band loaded. But I'm kind of on this ledge right here and there's a bunch of these smaller fish in front of me so I figured maybe something big would come by. Just looking around, I look behind me and I see this really nice size Ulua coming in behind me. So that was pretty cool to see. I started grunting, trying to get him to come close just so I can get a cool video. But he was kind of sticking pretty far behind me. And then he comes around to the other side of me and starts to come in front, but still keeping his distance. He didn't really want anything to do with me, so. Couldn't get as cool of a shot as I wanted, but it's all good. Probably wasn't gonna shoot him anyway, even if he came up to me. Right after that, we went back in shallower, and Jordan got this really nice size uhu right here. The water was super murky. It looks not too bad on camera but it was super super murky but we moved so we moved spots to a cleaner area and i had this uhu come in right here and now i'm focusing on the one band shooting I had that uhu come in but i don't know why i didn't take the shot in the moment maybe i thought he was moving too quick or something but just looking around with the one band and I had seen some Munus swimming around and you can see one coming in here and that's why I, I had dropped and so I saw a good size one starting to make his way over to me. So I lined up and he dives behind a rock there so I couldn't get a shot. And then another one comes in. I was able to land a nice shot on that one. So after that, 
got that nice moon moon first fish of the day but as you could see in that video there was actually a bunch of them so i was more or less just trying to find the schools because it was pretty shallow here it's like 40 feet and i was just trying to find the schools of munu and then i was dropping in the general area of where they were kind of rotating they were mostly just circling circling around this one area and this is really nice structure too all these boulders and stuff but i have this another nice moon to come in right there and this one was a little bit bigger than the first one but yeah really nice structure this is one of my favorite types of structure to see and it hardly exists on oahu but this one spot um, my friend jordan and my other friend noah showed me this spot where there's a lot of boulders in this one specific area so it's cool to see and usually they they hold a lot of fish because there's a lot of places for fish to hide and you know dive into caves like little holes and gaps in, in between the boulders and a lot of times bigger fish will kind of come through there sometimes also but making another drop here i had forgotten my body kui and we didn't we weren't you know super close to the to the uh the boat so i just put this fish on my shooting line and then i saw this nice uhu right here now i hardly ever stone uhu so this was pretty cool for for me Every time I shoot at Uhus, even if they're super close and I get a headshot, I always miss the stone mark. So that was pretty cool to see right there. And if you're wondering where the other Munu went, I had given it to my friend Jordan because he had a body kui, but then it kind of spread out a little bit. So I just put this Munu on my, on my shooting line. So after I shot that first uhu, I started seeing a few others just going in and out of the, the gaps between the boulders. So I'm dropping down here and you can see there's a bunch more monus as well. But I saw an uhu go into this hole right in front of me. And so I was kind of creeping up to see if he was sitting inside that cave over there. But I couldn't see him. I was just kind of looking around, looking back in the hole, maybe he trying to see if maybe he'd pop his head out. And then I turn around here and he pops up from a completely different hole. And so I try to get close and line up, but he kind of swims away from me. And then the second one pops out of the hole right in front of me. So I line up here, take my shot. And the thing about uhus that's tricky is if you don't have a lot of power behind your shot, like for example, if you're shooting with one band, sometimes you can catch their scales because their scales are so big and it's like a suit of armor around them. Sometimes you'll just, you'll hit them and they'll get off and all you're left with is a scale on the end of your spear. I've had that happen to me so many times, but I found that if you catch them at, at the right angle, like kind of when they're a little bit turned away from you, the spear, it's easier for the spear to get underneath those scales and actually get a, a full, get all the way through and get a good shot, a holding shot in there. You know, if you're close enough, of course, regardless of whether or not you have one band, if you're close enough, the shot's gonna go through. It's just if they're kinda swimming away and they're kinda far away, might not get a, a clean shot try and hit them at that angle i found that 
that helps a little bit for to get underneath their their armor yeah another nice uhu down and this was the last fish of the day for me right here all right guys that is it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus episode for those of you guys who watch my channel you guys are subscribed and you watch my videos pretty often you know that uh, i usually only post once a week every wednesday but because i'm on summer break now i have more time to dive more time to make videos and so i figured i'd put out a little more content for you guys and hopefully i'll be able to keep that up throughout the summer until i start school again so i look forward to putting out more content but yeah sorry no catch and cook on this episode but next week for my next episode guarantee i'll have a catch and cook up for you guys to enjoy but yeah that's all i got for you guys today and i'll see you guys in the next one shoot